Two teens accused of vandalizing the Islamic Center in Murfreesboro returned to the scene of the crime, this time to apologize for the act. Congregates could now call a hate crime. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon explains how this gesture is helping the community to move forward. The apology took just a few moments, but based on the response, it went a long way in helping people here at the Islamic Center of Murfreesboro heal. The Friday prayer service at the Islamic Center of Murfreesboro had a theme of forgiveness. And just like we would like for someone to forgive us when we do something wrong, we should be forgiving as well. As hundreds of community members, young and old, listened, so did Charlie Stout and Thomas Gibbs. The Prophet forgave him on the spot. They volunteered to apologize for their actions at the mosque last July. I sincerely apologize. I only ask that you could, could forgive such a dumb, foolish, and immature act. You know, I wouldn't want anyone to do that to my church, and I can imagine the disappointment and the hurt and the fear that it caused. The last time the teens were at the Islamic Center, they were caught on surveillance video, spray painting hate messages on the outside of the building and putting bacon around the entrance, a food that is forbidden for Muslims. We will forgive you. We forgive you. While the scene still haunts the congregation, the teen's apology was not only accepted, it was met with open arms. It means a lot for us. You know, it takes courage for somebody to admit uh, his wrongdoing. And these two young uh, men were brave enough to face what they did. Local leaders also hope the prayer service was an educational opportunity for all involved and a chance to put the past behind them. But this is a closure for us. This is a closure for the community. There have been a few reports of other thefts and break-ins here at the Islamic Center of Murfreesboro since July, but security cameras are in use inside and outside the building. Reporting in Murfreesboro, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Thomas Gibbs and Charlie Stout are scheduled to appear in federal court on March 27th. Both could face up to a year in prison and thousands of dollars in fines if convicted.